everyone, Stacy here to do the fourth video in the series of the Vera Bradley Annual Outlet Sale Hauls, uh, haul videos. Um, you guys know, watching my videos, how terrible I am, how jumbled I get with my numbers on countdowns and lists. <laughs> I won't tell you how many times I've had to restart this video. <laughs> I'm like, wait, I'm at day one, two, three. <laughs> I never said I was a genius with numbers, okay? All right, and numbers and Stacy, eh, that, that's my sister. She's, she's the numbers guru, I'm not. So, day four for me is Friday the 13th, um, April 2018. Uh, another ticketed session day. Again, this is a the fourth day for me because I went on Tuesday. Uh, during the friends and family session, Vera Bradley graciously gave me tickets for that. Um, my husband went with me, and he was my pack mule on Tuesday. On um, Wednesday, April 11th, uh, my daughter came with me. Thursday the 12th was solo, and Friday the 13th was solo too. Um, now, my mom and my sister came up uh, along with my dad and my brother-in-law and their kids. Uh, they all came up on Friday um, afternoon, and they went shopping. Um, and my son had a hockey game Friday night, so um, uh, we went to that um, as well. I can't remember if they came. I think they came after the sale. Um, but anyway, uh, so I shopped earlier that day, um, and of course I went to the hockey game afterwards. So yeah, I had a one son had a birthday that week. And the other son had um, hockey hockey playoffs <laughs> on the weekend. And then my daughter just came with me because that's I couldn't drop her off anywhere and get back to my ticketed session in time. So <laughs> it's a little crazy. It was a lot of fun that week. Loved it. Um, you know, I, I, I made my confession. I was not going to go Wednesday, Thursday, Friday. Um, but Tuesday night, I, April 11th, I bought the ticketed sessions. And so I went again, I think that Friday morning, to the first session. I believe it was. Um, I think this is the day where I uh, met up with Shady. Um, Shady, uh, that's her YouTube name, Shady Ellen Yu. Um, uh, she's a local here. She actually works at the sale. And I finally caught up with her. And she gave me um, a fat piece of fabric. That she found in a garage sale here in blue citrus which is the interior lining of um citrus an older pattern and she knows by from watching my videos that this is my absolute favorite vera bradley powder uh, pattern of all times um i wish they had done stuff in this like the reversible tote or something in this but they didn't and so i think this is the biggest piece i've ever had of um the blue citrus and I'm so excited for that and thank you so much for that. I really appreciate it I want my sister to do something with it for me. Um, trying to get her to make me a Mondo bag <laughs> That takes some time. She has kids and a very busy schedule. So probably not gonna happen. So I'm, I I don't know uh, I'll see her soon. I'm sure she can think of something to do do with it. That's super crafty That's like mind-blowing that I could never think of Because <laughs> That's how I roll. I'm not crafty um, so yeah, Friday the 13th, this was socks day. Um, I looked, you know, the Thursday the 13th, or the 12th was clothing day, and the socks were with the clothing, but they didn't have a lot out, so I thought I had missed out on the socks, because they were a good deal, $3.99 for every pair. Um, but they brought more out on Friday the 13th, and so I got me a bunch of socks. Um, also they marked down the shoes. Further, so I got a couple pairs of shoes. Um, let's see here, and I spent $123 total for that uh, Friday. Yeah, good stuff. So I didn't spend a whole lot and get a ton of bags because I've already shot for those. But Friday was the day when they started marking down stuff. So I have not worn these yet. First ones are. That's not, it says empty, but I I don't know why it says empty. The, these were really cute, and they did sell out of these. Oh, that's cute. Meet your soulmates. Ah, 
Beauty is meant to be shared. Vera, hashtag Vera Bradley. Y'all know I use the hashtag Vera Bradley a lot. Um, Vera Bradley, pineapple, navy, ground. I'm probably butchering this. It sounds better in my head. Embellish espadrilles. I, I wear and I don't say. I don't know. Pineapples. These are super cute. I'm actually thinking about wearing these uh, for the first time tomorrow night. I got a dinner date with some friends here in Fort Wayne. And uh, maybe wearing these. I think we're going to Cork and Cleaver. So, uh, awesome, awesome place to eat. We haven't been there, there in forever. This is cushioned here in the, in the uh, um, heel there. So, that's really nice. They're fairly comfortable. Um, I bought a size 7. I normally wear a 7.5. I did try them on with my socks, and the sevens fit better than the eights. I was not the only one trying trying on shoes, and yes, I did leave my socks on to be um, uh, hygienic. I'm not gonna say whether or not I saw people try them on without socks. I think you know that answer. Yeah, super comfortable, um, and I have kind of wide feet because I'm flat footed, and they they work with it, so no problem there. And pineapple. Can't go wrong with pineapple. A friend said the other day on Facebook that uh, they hope Vera Bradley would come up with a pineapple pattern. And that would be really cool. They've done some really cute summery patterns, so they should. So I got the pineapple. And I have the lace back, Vanna Rose White, also in size 7. Ah, I must have had the, um, the shoe display box because this one has a bag for them. And these are super cute. Got these. Uh, they'll match everything. I love the back tie there. And Havana Rose right Again, $19.99. Um, they had retail. How much are these bad boys? They were not cheap. Just don't have it on there. They were not cheap shoes when they came out. I want to say they're like 68 or something like that. They're quality, don't get me wrong. But I'd rather buy them at $19.99. And there's the really cute Beer Bradley shoe box. So I'm slowly but surely expanding my shoe collection outside of the flip flops. Did not buy any flip flops this year because I already had all the patterns that they had there. <laughs> they were still only $4.99. Now, this is the only bag I bought for Friday. I found this for my daughter. Um, one of these days I'll give it to her. She's a really tiny little girl. Um, she is five and wears a 3T, 4T. So I'm thinking maybe in a few years she'll be big enough for this. Uh, it has the D there monogrammed on it. Um, super, super cute. And it was $19.99 and it was supposed to be another $10 off because it was monogrammed. And I didn't get my... my uh, money off of that. Petite double zip hipster Catalina pink diamonds. Originally $48. Crossbody. Cute little bag. I mean you could use it as an adult but I really see this as like a preteen uh, bag there. should do a review on these too. So I've got it in I think like Lucky Dots as well. I haven't shown you guys. So it's the only bag I picked up. Eventually like I said she'll get it. My hair is all a mess from wearing the clothes from the last video. Okay. Oh, here we go. I haven't shown you guys this this yet. 2018 shopping guide tells you where everything is in the uh, in the Coliseum in their room, and then a little more detailed there of the different kinds of purses. Not everything, obviously, but the majority, and you can go there and shop it. Um, a lot of people like to write prices in there, especially if they're trying to share it online with other people. Um, so it's a good good piece to have, especially if you're you're new to the sale. All right, now we have socks, 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 socks. I said socks. Okay, um, coupon there that was good during the sale. Oh, they must give me another lotion pack of theirs. A sample. There's my receipt. Yeah, with my coupon. Oh, okay. So, I don't normally shop for other people. And um, a 
person that follows uh, follows the amazing shopper is on Vera Bradley Buzz had had mentioned something about uh, looking for something monogrammed for her, and I found a piece that I thought would be perfect for um, the triple zip hipster. Is a fuchsia triple zip hipster, and I think the same color in her initial there on the front and I, I sent her a message through Facebook and said hey do you want this and she did um, so I did buy another bag obviously she already has it she came in from the East Coast uh, to shop and I got it to her on Saturday the next day um, but other than that it's all socks and with my coupon so they rounded up for a donation Total savings, $24.96. So, all right. I love their socks. You guys know that. Um, so I expanded my collection. These are $3.99 a piece. Uh, suggested retail, $10. These are the holiday penguin socks uh, in green. I wish they had done some purses in them. That's so pretty. Red and the green. You got the gray. A medallion socks in washed blue. Cute go with the get carried away tote beer Bradley gave me for my birthday last year uh, paisley socks and chocolate go with uh, heirloom paisley also ten dollars there let's see here these are the knee highs um, placed falling flower socks in pine so you know there's falling flowers neutral now there's pine in this um, kind of reminds me of autumn leaves as well and then you've got another pair of knee highs, which are great to wear with boots. Uh, Place falling flowers, socks, same pattern, in charcoal heather. And the knee highs are normally $12. Again, same price, though, $3.99. Very cute. It's kind of funny. I um, wanted the fuzzy socks in the penguin red at the, at the annual sale, but they were out. And then I found out I already had them. <laughs> In my delayed haul video. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, back to the regular socks and medallions. Uh, medallion navy. Very cute. That'll go with a lot. Uh, then we have... No, these are not knee high. Uh, Geo plaid socks in sea foam. So cute. It kind of reminds me of um, Alicia Silverstone in um, Clueless. <laughs> with her plaids that she wore back in the 90s. Sure, if you, you remember that. And then, my last pair. Yes, my last pair of socks. Fox, Fox's Socks Dark Raspberry. Yeah, try saying that ten times. In the raspberry there. Um, I actually have a shirt that has a very similar color combination. That was the only thing I could think of to wear with these. But they were $3.99. I have a coupon. So, <laughs> it's like, why not? So yeah, Friday was the day we started seeing some price drops. Uh, they got more as the weekend went on. There's no rhyme or reason to the price drops. You would think, hey, they got a lot of this, this particular item. They're surely going to knock down the price. No. So, it's hit or miss. I have no crystal ball. There's no way to know what's going to uh, drop in price and what isn't. Um, always, obviously, be on the lookout for coupons. And I do post... Uh, those when I see them uh, around town on Facebook, The Amazing Shopper, and on Instagram, The Amazing Shopper. Um, they've had uh, where you can bring in came, came good and you'll get a coupon then to use uh, once you bring that in for donations. Um, they've done stuff with the Humane Society. Um, of course, the, the Breast Cancer Foundation, you can round up on your receipt for that. And then they have uh, a night where they do a, a donation drive for the Breast Cancer Foundation, that's pretty cool. Um, and then there's also items there that you'll see in another haul video that you can buy from the foundation also there um, uh, at the sale. One other thing I, I just thought of that I saw at the sale for the first time or even heard of at the sale for the first time was Disney. They had a lot of the Alice in Wonderland stuff there. Uh, and the shoes, umbrellas, totes, blankets, uh, wallets, so that was the first that was there. Do not count on that being there again. Um, I, I, I have a feeling it was a, a one-time deal. Um, I could be wrong, but I'm probably right. Um, 
but it, I don't think that pattern did as well and so it was at the annual sale. I personally do not have a piece in it although it would be more for my aunt who loves black and red. Um, yeah, I she's not a huge Disney fan so I didn't get anything in that in that pattern for her. <laughs> so um, yeah, that was day four for me out of six, Friday the 13th. It ended up being a good day. There was nothing wrong. Um, my son did well at hockey that night, and uh, we got uh, to see him play in a second-to-last game. He had one more uh, game to play in, the, in Saturday morning, <clears throat> which then afterwards with my mom and my sister, I did go to the South, so they were, they were there. Um, so it was a lot of fun. All right, guys, I'm going to wrap this one up. Don't forget to subscribe to the amazing, <clears throat> amazing shopper as I'm losing my voice here. I have to get a drink of water before uh, in between videos here. Um, don't forget to subscribe to the amazing shopper. Uh, be eligible for future giveaways. Uh, see other Vera Bradley videos. Uh, I've done some Dooney and Burke. I've got Kate Spade I need to do. Um, you know, figurines. Disney Limb Edition doll stuff I've done with my kids, all that fun stuff. You can find me on uh, Facebook, The Amazing Shopper, Instagram, The Amazing Shopper, and on Twitter, Amazing underscore Shopper. Um, check me out on all those forms of social media. And we're going to wrap this one up. Don't forget to leave me a comment down below in the videos. Give me a thumbs up. That's what I keep forgetting. Thumbs up if you like this uh, video, one of my mini haul videos. And I will talk to you later.